Shut up and sit down. Howdy guys, this is Andy from Big Mac's Paint Shop Workshop and Paint Studio. I'll get it right one day. So uh, today I'm painting a Lord of the Rings uh, figure and um, what I dug out of my um, uh, figure case and I just felt like doing something a little bit different. So this is a Morgul Knight from the uh, Hobbit uh, Mordor range and what I'm, uh, the highlights on the uh, robes are done um, slightly differently to what I would normally do. I tried a slightly different um, technique. So what I did was um, painted very bright edge highlights all over the robes and the um, barding. Uh, with Rakar flesh, uh, building it up um, very, very uh, carefully, uh, just straight off the brush um, on the edges. Now, this does look a little bit funny at first, but um, what I actually did do uh, after I'd got the um, highlights right uh, was go back to my airbrush and then very, very gently, very carefully um, airbrush the uh, base black back over the uh, rack off so you get very very gentle transitions and I did this uh, two or three times um, over the thick to get the uh, blends right and it came out with a really interesting very muted uh, highlight but what was quite um, under, under the right light quite visibly there uh, so I actually, I actually quite enjoyed it doing this way I'm gonna um, play some more uh, with that um, system as again built some more of the uh, Rakar flesh on top same sort of areas but uh, stronger colours in certain in certain lines um, and then goes back straight over the top with the uh, airbrush just pure black building them um, blends up really nicely and it, it, it did come out surprisingly well uh, in my opinion I uh, was very um, interested to uh, try the system out something what Dodge Point had made out to um, and it just takes a little bit of patience, which isn't my strong suit, but I did enjoy doing it. So, back to the uh, the real reason why I'm showing you this video is the armour itself. So, uh, the armour was a base colour of hammered copper, which is um, a Vallejo uh, paint. Now, this is very, very red. Um, and came out with a very interesting, a very interesting colour. Uh, something what I'm gonna really, uh, I really intend to work with again, just in different ways. And I gave a nice, good quality coat, a couple of co uh, a couple of nice coats over the um, uh, the plating and the armor itself and the shields, uh, just to uh, get that nice finish. I then washed it with uh, Army Paint Strong Tone. I wanted Strong Tone rather than uh, Agrax because it's uh, more brown. Uh, the Agrax has got a bit more of a green sort of shade to it, so I went for I wanted a brown colour, uh, which takes the shine right down. I had a couple of um, layers of the strong tone just to get get that shine away, and really change and it really does change the colour of it. So I'm just painting the um, the lance point at a minute, which is just in gunmetal. Um, I then highlight it in chrome later. I also did the same with the uh, trim of the shield. I decided I wanted that a little bit different looking just to uh, break up that solid pattern of um, bronze work. The hooves were painted in Rhinox Hide, uh, which were then highlighted up with a mix of Rhinox Hide and Rakar Flesh. Uh, very little I could say about who. Uh, say about that you very barely see them I wanted it to be a very much a very dark horse so I uh, you know very much a dark rider um, ring wraith looking sort of fig once the uh, washes had dried I then went over the top with another Vallejo color which is brass um, which is more of a sort of a goldy color uh, added a nice sort of broad highlight to it it also um, quite substantially changed the colour, really get, allowing me to get to the colour I wanted to get to um, within a couple, within only a few uh, short layers. And I did that all over the armour, just leaving a small band in, uh, in the recesses, ju just so you can see, the, only just see the copper colour underneath. 
The next one um, was GW's Aura Karma. Uh, don't use this uh, paint a lot because it seems it, um, it's very it's separated on my pop. So I'm very I'm looking at getting a new one at some point. But it does have a very bright colour to it, and this really worked well as a top highlight for the armour. Once I'd done that, I then got to Hawk Turquoise and made a very, very, very thin uh, wash um, of it just by adding water, and then washed the entirety of the armour uh, that and the green colour to it really, really changed the colour completely of the armour from being sort of a, uh, a gold to a very stained um, oxidised colour uh, of uh, copper or bronze or uh, something like that. It made for a really interesting colour. Now, the trick, you've got to uh, get the paint to the right fitness. It needs to be slightly thinner than a normal wash would be, otherwise it just doesn't work properly. As you can see, it's sort of sat on the shield there. Um, this took a couple of layers, you build, just build up the layers nice and steady. Um, once you've uh, done that, throw some uh, of the strong tone back into it just to add the um, extra depth to it. The saddle was painted in Rhinox as was the uh, lance itself. I wanted, again I wanted very very dark colours over the entirety of the thick, uh, otherwise it just wouldn't look right. The bit and bridle uh, again done in exactly the same way um, as the lance and uh, hooves. Just to keep it all on the same palette, se um, palette se uh, spectrum. Now, to be fair, this was just a colour experiment uh, for me, just playing with the armour. I did dry brush a little bit uh, of silver, but um, you really need to get that um, dry brush very, very dry. Uh, it's very, very light dry brush just to bring out the details, because otherwise it would just look too shiny and uh, take away all that sort of stained matted work, um, paint scheme what you spent all, uh, time to try and create. So once I'd uh, gone over the silver I then um, added some more uh, washes to the recesses just to bring out that green again just and also bring out the depth from the strong tone. And there you are, very quick, nice and easy, it only took an hour uh, to paint that one uh, as it was just a test fig anyway. I was actually quite happy, so it was going to be the start of a, uh, a small army for the Hobbit. Um, I wanted something looking a bit more interesting um, and using different colours for what I would normally use. So that's uh, this video finished. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know it's only a short one, but it was more focused on the armour plate in itself than any of the other any of the other sections. So, uh, if you want to see more of these things, um, give us a like, give us a uh, hit subscribe as well, and um, more, uh, if you've got any questions, please let us know. So take it easy, and see you in the next one. Bye. Uh